Hello everyone, Porter House here, and this is just going to be a quick and dirty guide on how to use Body Slide in Skyrim to build outfits to your body preset. One of my uh, subscribers needed a bit of a hand with it, so I made this quick and dirty video for him. He thought it was so good that he suggested that I put it up as a real video, so here it is. Hopefully you find it as useful as he did. All right, Alexander, I could not find a video that explained uh, just the basics for building a uh, uh, an armor around a body preset, and so I'm just going to kind of make one for my own uh, for you. And I'm going to assume two things: one is that you already have body slide installed, and number two is I'm going to assume that you have already created a preset like I have with Shay. Shay's one of my characters, and she's also a follower bond now. So. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm going to assume that's all done and you just want to build the armor. Now, there's one or two ways you can do this. You can build individual pieces, like, uh, for instance, let's say the Guelda Dawnguard armor. And then you just hit build and it builds it just for that part. And then you have to do that for every piece of armor in that set that you want to fit your preset. Well, that sucks because it takes forever. Uh, the other thing you can do instead is you can do a batch build and you can actually filter that. Like, say for instance, I wanted to fit Shay's preset to Nisa Tanaka's Wonderful World's Bikini Iron Armor, which is actually banded iron. And you use the filter like so. It, it, all of his Wonderful World of Bikini stuff starts out WWB and it's banded. So now when you hit the outfit slash body down arrow, you get just the stuff that's in the banded iron. And then you can hit batch build and it's uh, all listed and you hit build and it builds that uh, armor preset around your, uh, or that armor around your body preset. Now, uh, you may want to change um, uh, your default preset in a manner I'm going to describe in just a minute and then you would save it as a separate preset. Now I'll explain why. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do steel too since it has a nice piece that I can use as a, an example. So once again I've changed it to steel. I get just the steel parts. I hit batch build and there's all the, the steel armor parts. And I hit build and all that's been processed. Now the reason that you want to um, maybe have a separate part is here let me show you real quick I have the preview open on my other monitor um, so let me change let me drag this around lower it way down there and then we'll zoom in on the, the top here real quick so now you got this odd bump in the uh, top of this armor because it has uh, built the mesh for this around your character's body and it has built it around the nipple as well. So what I do is I will go to my original body uh, uh, preset and go to here and change these three sliders to zero. And you have to do it for both low weight and high weight. And then what you want to do then is save this as a separate preset. So you click the save as. And then uh, another thing you want, you want to do, we'll call this one Shea Armor. I've actually already built one, so we'll call it Shea Armor 3. Is you have these check boxes. And this is where you would select groups to assign the new preset. And this becomes important because if you don't uh, assign the preset to these, if you went to this, uh, like say you went to the Elven armor for, from his Bikini Ascend, uh, you wouldn't see your this preset listed as being available to build the armor around. So you want to make sure you click on those. And uh, we'll do the same for you know all the rest of them. Oop, we don't want that and then you would do it for all of these. And then you would just hit save. Make sure that this name and this name match. 
and then you hit save and it's done so now you have Shea armor 3 or whatever you called your secondary uh, preset now the reason for that is let's go back real quick to the original and you see the odd bump and you change it to your armor preset and there you have the top having a more natural look to it uh, instead of having that weird nipple bump in the middle of it and then once you've built all of your armor presets around that um, you're, you're done that's pretty much it um, uh, I, I hope that you found that informative and if you have any more questions uh, feel free to ask me I'm actually pretty good about teaching people or I'm pretty good at teaching people how to do stuff so uh, I will talk to you later.